More painful than childbirth. That's how a Maui woman describes the pain she's now living with after getting sick from rat lungworm disease. We first heard about this case from a viewer who used the reported feature on our website. So we started checking. This disease is spread by snails or slugs. Someone eating raw fruits and vegetables can end up eating a small snail or slug or the slime they leave behind if the produce is not washed. Bridget Namata went straight to the experts to find out how you can protect your family. Bridget? Joe, the Department of Health tells me it has been investigating cases on the Big Island and Maui. The latest confirmed case is from a patient on Maui. Her name is Trisha Minor, and while the health department tells me it can't confirm how she got the disease, Minor believes she got it from a salad she ate on the Big Island. You and your mommy sound sick. You guys need to get better. Okay? This is video Trisha Minor sent to her grandson while at Maui Memorial. Minor wants to stay strong for her family. Rat lung worm disease affects your central nervous system. I just don't want people to experience this. And I, because I'm a preschool teacher by trade, I would hate for a child to go through this. Today's pain was like someone stuck an ice pick in my collarbone, in my chest, and in the back of my neck. So every day the pain differs. In February, Minor traveled to Big Island for work. She believes she ate a salad that started it all. I'm a mom of three. That was like eating ice cream compared to this. The level of pain, um, majority of it is in your head, majority of it. And the pain is just excruciating. This kind of conversation is what we need. We need a lot of people talking. Senator Josh Green is also a physician on the Big Island. He tells me he's working with the DOH to create a public safety awareness campaign. We really need to kind of have a comprehensive map of where the cases are and how many, because in my community, I'm hearing lots of reported cases, in, including some fatalities of people that had immune systems that were a little bit weakened. The best way to prevent rat lungworm disease by thoroughly washing all fruits and vegetables before consuming them. What happens is it's in the rat, it's in their lung. The worms, which are about this long, ultimately have larvae and they bust out of the rat when they, when they poop and then those slimy uh, mollusks go over them. And at that point, if the mollusk is infected, it can infect your lettuce or vegetables. And so that's why you gotta either cook the heck out of these slugs or snails. I don't think anybody's eating slugs these days. Or really, really wash your lettuce. Minor is recovering with family, and she's learning to walk again with a walker. Dr. Green tells me rat lung worm disease can be treated with antibiotics. We'll be following this and let you know what happens with those other possible cases. Bridget Namata, KHON2 News. Symptoms of rat lung worm disease include headaches, a stiff neck, tingling or pain in the skin, fever, nausea, and vomiting. These normally appear within one to three weeks of eating the slug or snail or its slime. Most people recover without any treatment. Occasionally, the infection can be fatal. Again, we learned about this from a viewer. If you have a news tip, report it at khon2.com or through our mobile app.